So, we discussed formulas for torsion. So, now we have got uh, three expressions for tau. So, the first one was uh, tau is given as absolute value of the derivative of y normal. So, this was the defining property. Let us call it number 1. Number 2, we computed b dash and this b dash has a direction along the principal normal this follows from this formula number 2. And in terms of the derivative of r, we found that tau is given by this scalar triple product of the three vectors r dash, r double dash, r triple dash upon k square. Okay. So, these are the three formulas that we have derived up till now for the torsion. All right. Now, the next job is to work out formula for the torsion in generalized parameter. So, in generalized parameter, what we will be doing is we will first see what is the expression of r double r dash r double dash r triple dash in terms of the derivative with respect to the generalized parameter. So, let us recall that the derivative of r with respect to s is given by r dot into d t over d s. And similarly, I can compute our double dash means derivative of r with respect to s second order derivative. So, if you compute in the right side, so that will be r double dot means derivative of r dot with respect to t into d t over d s. So, this will become d t over d s whole square and plus r dot as it is into d t over d s square. This is second order derivative. We need third order derivative also. So, the third order derivative r triple dash is given by. Now, we will differentiate this right side of number 2. So, d by d s of the first term means d by d t of this into d t over d s. So, d by d t of this will be r triple dot into d t over d s whole cube. Okay. Plus r double dot as it is into derivative of d t upon d s whole square that will be 2 times d t over d s into d 2 t upon d s square. Okay. Now, come to the last term derivative of this with respect to s will give me r dot r double dot in fact derivative of this with respect to t into d t over d s into d 2 t upon d s square and then plus r dot as it is into derivative of this will become d cube t upon d s cube. The these two middle term I can combine because they are same. So, it becomes r triple dot into d t over d s whole cube plus 3 times r double dot d t over d s d 2 t upon d s square plus the last term is r dot d cube t upon d s cube. So, we have got these three relation let me rename them number 1, number 2 and number 3. Now, I have to compute the scalar triple product of these three vectors. So, r dash dot r double dash cross r triple dash this is what 
I will compute first. So, r dash dot r double dash cross r triple dash that is nothing but r dot into d t upon d s and dot okay, r double dot into d t upon d s whole square. plus r dot into d 2 t upon d s square. This whole cross product with the last one. This is r triple dot into d t upon d s whole cube plus 3 times r double dot d t upon d s into d 2 t upon d s square plus r dot r dot into d cube t upon d s cube. Okay. Now, inside this middle bracket, let us see which term will be 0. The cross product of the first term here and the middle term here will become 0. That is all. So, let me keep the first term as it is r dot d t upon d s dot. So, you will be having r double dot cross r triple dot into d t upon d s whole to the power 5. Then this cross this will be 0, this cross this will be so plus r double dot cross r dot into d t upon d s whole square d cube t upon d s cube. Okay. Now, let us consider the cross of this and this. So, plus r dot cross r triple dot into d 2 t upon d s square d t upon d s whole cube. Okay. Then, this cross this will be r dot 3 times r dot cross r double dot into d t upon d s d 2 t upon d s square and uh, this and this okay, whole square also. I think we are right okay. and then the last term this will be some 0. Okay. Now, we have to take the dot product of this term with all these terms. So, what you will notice the first term is ok. So, let me write down the dot product of r dot with r double dot cross r triple dot into d t upon d s whole to the power 6. Now, the dot product of r dot with this will be 0, because r dot will be repeating. Uh, with this term, r dot will be repeating. So, this dot product will be 0 and similarly, the dot product of r dot with this will be 0. So, only this is the non-zero term after taking the dot product and I can write down this as this is a scalar triple product. So, you can denote it by the symbol uh, bracket r dot r double dot r triple dot and d t upon d s is 1 upon mod r dot. So, you can write down this as 1 upon mod r dot to the power 6. So, this is what? This is in fact the scalar triple product of 
R dash, R double dash and R triple dash. This is a scalar triple product R dash, R double dash, R triple dash. Okay. So, in formula third you have computed this scalar triple product. If I divide the whole thing by k square, I will be getting a formula in terms of the derivative of r with respect to generalized parameter. So, let me do it here itself. As by formula 3, now by formula third tau equal to 1 upon k square into this and this is this. So, this is r dot r double dot r triple dot upon mod r dot whole to the power 6. Now, uh, if you do not like k square over here, you can see its formula in terms of the uh, dots. So, let me recall for you the formula of k in terms of the derivative of r with respect to generalized parameter as k is given by mod r dot cross r double dot upon mod r dot cube. This formula we derived yesterday. So, I am now going to use it k square and therefore, will be equal to this square upon power 6. Okay. Substitute this value of k square into the above formula, you will be getting tau equal to uh, r dot r double dot r triple dot upon mod r dot to the power 6 into 1 upon k square means mod r dot to the power 6 upon r dot cross r double dot whole square. So, this term goes off and you get r dot r double dot r triple dot upon mod r dot cross r double dot full square. So, this is another formula for torsion, but this is the formula we can use when the curve is given in generalized parameter. Okay. All right. <coughs> now, uh, we let us see what else we have. All right. Now, some exercises based on these formulas, we can do some easy ones. For example, you can be asked to compute curvature and torsion of a curve. So, this is a famous space curve that we deal with the helix. So, uh, if suppose uh, we are given this curve x equal to a cos u y equal to a sin u and z equal to b u. This is the equation of a circular helix in generalized parameter u is a generalized parameter you can easily check. Okay. Now, suppose the question is compute curvature and torsion, compute curvature and torsion. For the above helix. If the point is not mentioned which point you want its curvature and torsion means you should compute curvature and torsion as a function. So, curvature 
as well as torsion both can be treated as function whose value at every point of the curve changes so you are asked to compute torsion and curvature as function okay we are not giving any value of u so curvature formula for curvature is this k equal to mod r dot cross r double dot upon mod r dot q so i need to compute over here the r dot and r double dot so let me write down the position vector of an arbitrary point on the helix so r will be written as a cos u a sin u b u this is the position vector okay now r dot means derivative of r with respect to u that is r dot u is our generalized parameter so that will be minus a sin u a cos u and simply b and r double dot will be the derivative second order derivative of r with respect to u so that will be nothing but minus a cos u minus a sin u and zero okay if you want you can compute third order derivative also is it visible okay so that will be a sin u plus and this will be minus a cos u and zero so these three vectors r dot r double dot r triple dot have been computed now i have to put the values in these formulas so r dot cross r double dot as a vector in r theory i can compute by this method of determinant in the first row we write i j k in the second row we write down the components of r dot which is which are minus a sin u a cos u and b components of r double dot are minus a cos u minus a sin u and zero this is the vector r dot cross r double dot and if you want to write down this as a triplet so this is zero this is minus ab 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 sin u okay and then minus j times this and zero so this is minus ab cos u and then you have a square sin a square u plus a square cos a square u means simply a square so this is the vector r dot cross r double dot if you like you can take a common throughout so it will be b sin u b cos u minus times and a and modulus of this is square root of this so square root means uh, a simply okay Okay, so b square sin square u plus b square cos square. So simply b square plus a square. So this is modulus of it. Okay, and uh, you need mod r dot also. Mod r dot you can see from here directly. So this is a square plus b square. Okay, so modulus of r dot. and modulus of r dot is under root a square 
plus b square okay so the curvature k is equal to and how much is the curvature i can uh, okay what as k equal to by formula mod r dot cross r double dot divided by mod r dot q so this is a under root a square plus b square upon mod r dot q means a square plus b square whole to the power 3 by 2 so this half power will go off and you will be getting a upon a square plus b square so this is the curvature of a circular helix okay and from this i can compute uh, the torsion as well and for torsion i need to compute the scalar triple product so k is already with us okay so okay but for torsion where should i write here okay this is better so for torsion we need we need this is scalar triple product formula i rubbed off so this is r dot r double dot r triple dot and this will be straight away you can compute by the determinant r dot is component of r dot in the first row minus a sin u a cos u and b second row will consist of minus a cos u minus a sin u and zero the third row will contain a sin u minus a cos u and zero okay we have written correctly so this comes out to be minus a sin u into zero so this term will not appear then minus a cos u into zero so this also goes off and with b you will be having a square cos square u plus a square sin square u so means only a square so this is a square b the scalar triple product of these three vector is simply a square into b what is in the denominator mod of r dot cross r double dot is square so this is according to the formula okay so mod r dot cross r double dot we have here we have to just square it so mod of and mod of r dot cross r double dot square this we have already computed here so this is a square into a square plus b square so by formula of the torsion so by the formula of torsion which formula let me recall it scalar triple product of r dot r double dot r triple dot divided by mod of r dot cross r double dot square this becomes these values are there a square b upon a square into a square plus b square so a square goes off 
it becomes b upon a square plus b square. So, this is how you can compute torsion also it has a non zero torsion and it should be because it is a non trivial space curve. So, it should have some torsion as well. Uh, now, there are some exercises which I will be leaving for you and uh, you better note it down technique is the same you just need to apply the formula. compute curvature and torsion for the following curve. Compute curvature and torsion for the following curves. number 1 x equal to a cos u ye this is done already x equal to u y equal to u square and z equal to u k. This is a space curve you have to compute curvature and torsion both. The second one is y equal to f x and z equal to g x. I mentioned earlier that sometime a space curve appear as the intersection of two surfaces. So, these are the two surfaces in a space the common part of these two surfaces will be a space curve you have to compute its curvature and torsion both. And then uh, number 3 x equal to a times 3 u minus u cube y equal to 3 a u square and z equal to a times 3 u plus u cube. So, parameter in all cases is generalized in the first case the parameter generalized parameter is u here the parameter is x in here it is simply u. Uh, so, these are the three uh, exercises which are simply computational uh, nothing uh, uh, nothing tricky about them. Uh, there is another exercise uh, if k is 0 at all points if k equal to 0 at all points Uh, the curve is a straight line the curve is a straight line. This is a statement you have to prove it about the torsion if tau equal to 0 at all points Uh, the curve is a plane curve is a plane curve yes it is true from both sides but i am asking only one side and third point if uh, here we have asked both the necessary and sufficient condition the necessary and sufficient condition for a curve to be a plane curve is r dash r double dash r triple dash this is scalar triple product is 0. This you have to prove from both sides in the first two statements are to be proved only one side ok ok 
how much time I have spent. Solve these uh, exercises by yourself. If you find difficulty in any of them, we will discuss over here. Okay, I stop at this point.